Hey friends, today I'm bringing you along for two nights of super relaxing, super satisfying cleaning. I'm gonna be cleaning over two nights, doing some of our nightly cleaning routine tasks, as well as some deep cleaning, trying new products. So we're gonna be doing a lot. Let's get ready and let's do this together. Welcome to Jamie's Journey. I'm Jamie. I'm a wife, a mother to three girls, three little girls, and I'm here to help motivate you today or tonight, whatever time of day you're watching this video. And I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning in today's video. And you're probably looking at this and like, what happened? And I promise it's as it's not as bad as it looked. It was just a bloody nose. My daughter Addison, so I have a seven-year-old and then three-year-old twin girls. One of the twins gets bloody noses a lot. And we actually found a system that really worked and got rid of them last winter. So we would coat the inside of her nose with Vaseline, use a humidifier, put saline spray in her nose but we did that mainly in the fall in the winter and then in the spring but she really hasn't had bloody noses this summer so we stopped doing that and this happened so we might have to pick that back up but this is my DIY stain remover it's amazing it always gets the blood out when she has her bloody noses or really any stain so you just take Dawn dish soap I put it on the stain pour some baking soda on top of the Dawn and then I pour some hydrogen peroxide on the baking soda and then I scrub it in, let it sit for a couple of hours and then I wash like normal. It's just an amazing stain remover. Thanks again for being here. And if you already aren't subscribed to my channel, we would love to have you here in this community. And I say we, because even though it's my YouTube channel, this is a community of truly wonderful people. So we would love to have you join Jamie's journey. I always make sure I say how thankful and grateful I am for you guys, because I know for me personally, I don't really have the time to watch too many YouTube videos because the little free time I get goes to filming and editing my, my own YouTube videos. And I know you're in the same boat. You're busy. You have things to do. You have things that you want to do. So if you're here watching my video, I appreciate you and I'm thankful for you. But tonight the twins are helping me clean up, which you're probably going to see that a lot in the next couple of months because fall softball has started up for Avery. She has practices two times a week and Mike's the coach. So they will be gone and the twins love helping me. So it's honestly a really fun time to clean with them.
for my stovetop, I went in with the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner. It's a degreaser. And then I was going to go in with my Scrub Mommy Power Paste. This is one of one of about three products I like to use on my stovetop. They're all great. And I actually had one of you guys just message me and say that you tried the Scrub Mommy Power Paste and you loved it. So it's a great product. I get it from Walmart or Target. So now I was moving on to the bathroom that is off of our kitchen and I like cleaning or I was planning on cleaning pretty much the whole bathroom and I wanted to do a little bit of deep cleaning in here. Part of the deep cleaning was going to be cleaning the grout. I was going to use the Resolve Foaming Carpet Cleaner. It is a carpet cleaner so it's great to use on your carpet for spot cleaning but you can also put it on your grout. It's fun and it's a great way to maintain your grout. So what I do is I spray it there. I'll let it sit for maybe... I know it ranges from 5, 15, depending on how I get distracted. And you can scrub if you want. You don't have to scrub. And it's just a great, it's a great grout cleaner, but also a great way to maintain your grout over time. I usually let it sit, like I said, for about five or 10 minutes. You can scrub if you want, depending on how dirty your grout is. I maintain my grout, so it's really not too dirty, but really quickly, in one of my last videos, I had talked about why we weren't going to have any more kids. I had mentioned that getting pregnant for me because I struggle with infertility, the whole process of getting pregnant was very hard and stressful. And then I also had talked about how my pregnancies were stressful. The twins, their pregnancy actually wasn't too bad. It was just stressful because it was a twin pregnancy. There's a lot more complications. Um, I did have some complications early on, a lot of bleeding, um, a lot of doctor's appointments, but overall, not too many worries. The more complicated pregnancy was Avery's. It was very, very stressful for multiple reasons. And it was so stressful and like I don't want to say crazy but they ended up inducing me early because of all of the complications that I had throughout her pregnancy and I'll talk about that here in a minute I know you guys like a variety of talking and music I don't want to get too long-winded because I know I do that sometimes so I'll tell you what those complications were throughout her pregnancy here in a little bit
So this is a new oven cleaner I'm trying. It's the Sprayway oven cleaner and I sprayed it on and I was letting it sit. I was cleaning out the garbage can because as you can see, it was pretty gray, gross. Okay, so let's talk Avery's pregnancy. First off, I was diagnosed with PCOS, so that's why I had trouble getting pregnant. I didn't know I had this hormonal disorder until I struggled to get pregnant and then they found it when they were putting me through the testing to see why I couldn't get pregnant. So I went on a medication called Clomid that helped me produce eggs, mature eggs, since my body has a hard time creating mature eggs. And it took about three rounds. And on the third round, I got pregnant with twins. So Avery was a twin, which we unfortunately miscarried at 14 weeks, 13 or 14 weeks, I kind of forget. And then I had some tests done, blood tests done to check and make sure everything was okay since I had the, the miscarriage. And it came back that there was a very high probability that our baby would have spina bifida. But they wanted to do further testing because, see, the thing is, when you're pregnant with twins and then you miscarry, your body doesn't get rid of it like it would if it was a normal miscarriage. The body just absorbs it. It's kind of a weird concept. So technically, I had, my body thought I was pregnant with two babies, even though I only had one viable baby. So they thought that, that maybe that was throwing off the test results, but they weren't for sure. So I lived for about a month not knowing for sure if Avery would have spina bifida. And then um, shortly after that, when everything was okay, we found out that she didn't have it. We found out that Avery had a kidney deformity. So I will continue here in a minute and, you know, like I said, I don't want to get too long-winded, but I wanted, I'll tell you more about that and then another complication I had. But I'm trying out the Scrub Daddy Damp Duster. It's a sponge that you just wet with water. It attracts dust. It's a great little tool for baseboards, blinds, and things like that. And I was shocked by how much it really did attract dust from the blinds and the baseboards. I'm going to keep using this. I'll keep telling you guys where I like using it and how well it works as I try it out more. I suggest that with any oven cleaner, make sure you put towels down on your floor before you spray the oven door because you don't want the oven cleaner to get on your floor. Okay, so going back to Avery's kidney issue, she had one of her kidneys was very, very big. They caught it in my 18-week ultrasound and it is called hydronephrosis, which is a swelling of the kidney due to a buildup of urine. They weren't sure how serious it was. It can be very common. It can fix itself. There could be further complications, so they just wanted to monitor me very closely. Um, just an FYI, she ended up having surgery. It became a problem. She was hospitalized twice in the first year of her life and then had surgery at a year old to fix it. But that's another story. So I just felt like it was one thing after another in that pregnancy, one worry after another, and I never got to thoroughly enjoy her pregnancy. I never felt good because I was constantly worried, especially after, after that miscarriage with her twin. I was sick to my stomach every day, terrified that the same thing was going to happen to her because it's a weird feeling of grieving the loss of your, you know, being pregnant and having a miscarriage and going through that grief, but then also being happy because you still have a healthy pregnancy. And then towards the end of my pregnancy, she was measuring in the fifth percentile. And so they said, because she was measuring so small and all of the complications we had from the beginning, they decided to induce me. And the kicker of this pregnancy was she was born and she was perfect, perfect, no issues other than the kidney issue, but something we could live with and, you know, nothing life-threatening, but it was just enough that made me feel like, 
oh man, getting pregnant, staying pregnant, being pregnant is so stressful. I don't want to go through this more than I have to. And we knew we wanted to give Avery a sibling. So we've accomplished that. So I know, well, school for us is back in session. And for me, when school's back in session, when football's back on TV, that's when I start thinking about fall. It's kind of crazy because when I think of late August, September, or mainly September, I think fall because school's back in session for us. Football's on, but the weather doesn't feel like fall, if you guys know what I mean. For us here in Northwest Ohio, October is like the transitional month. It stays pretty mild through September here. Like I would say early September, still hot, hitting the 80s, maybe the occasional 90. By the end of September, I would say if we're outside, I'm probably wearing a long sleeve shirt. It's not cold, but wearing a long sleeve shirt. And then October starts out and by Halloween, we are in coats, jackets. There's been times on trip, well, we've been passing candy out before we had kids for trick-or-treating that we had a heater on the front porch so october is the big transitional month for fall here Speaking of fall, our fall and early winter is going to be insane. So you guys have to hold on with me. It's just going to be so crazy. So Mike gets busy at work, number one. Number two, we should be moving. As of right now, we're being told between Thanksgiving and Christmas. But, you know, there's a lot of prep when you're getting ready to move. So we'll be moving. Mike's busy with work. Avery's playing fall softball this year and Mike is her coach. So they have practices twice a week and then games on the weekends, not every weekends. Thankfully, I think there's just three weekends she has games and then the twins are playing soccer. So they have soccer practice once a week, a game on Saturday mornings and we have a destination wedding. Oh, actually both Mike, Mike has two cousins that are getting married. One is local, the kids get to go to. The other one is a destination wedding and the kids are not invited. So my parents will be watching the kids while Mike and I go with his parents to the family wedding. It's in Gatlinburg. We've never been there. So we're excited for a little getaway. I think we're gonna tack on some days either before or after the wedding. Cause if we're gonna drive to Gatlinburg, I think it's like about an eight or nine hour drive for us. We might as well stop somewhere and you know, enjoy ourselves for a few nights with the wedding. Oh, and here I'm cleaning. So Mike was um, working late this day. And so he didn't even eat dinner with us. So he got a late dinner and he had cooked a frozen pizza. And I'm over here like, you know, it's late. I'm tired trying to get my cleaning done. And I'm like, ah, get out of the kitchen. And he's like, I'm just trying to eat dinner. We were kind of laughing at that. And then, you know, 
you see the little crumbs and he didn't do anything wrong but i know you guys know what i'm talking about whether it's your kids or whoever else is living in your house you're like running around fr frantically cleaning trying to get everything to be perfect and then you know even like you see a crumb on the floor and it drives you crazy when you know your, your family's just living there's nothing they're not doing anything wrong but i was like Ugh. there's many ways to be happy you can do whatever you like you don't have to be ready you just gotta trust the right you don't have to be scary you just gotta follow the light you're able to be happy update on using this bona floor cleaner instead of the tinco cleaner i don't see a difference they both work great i don't think one works better than the other i think i said this in the last video but the bona claims there's a scent to it i don't smell a thing like not even the tiniest bit of scent at all but that's okay it still performs as well as the tinco solution if you're curious I know the lighting is not the best in this room, but I wanted to show you guys how I clean this. So this model has a self-cleaning option, and this is something I hear from a lot of people. A lot of people say that whether, I've heard it more with the Bissell Crosswave than the Tinco, but I'm sure, I mean, they're pretty much the same. I've heard a lot of people say that their machines smell, they stink. I have never had that problem. Um, and this is how I clean it. So. so the only thing that I did was I emptied out this. So I do empty out that and then put a little bit of clean water in there. And I press the button. And what it's doing now is it's self-cleaning. It's pulling because even though I emptied out the water, there still is water inside the machine, so it's pulling all of that dirty water and whatever's inside, pulling it out, and it's gonna put it back in here, and then I can empty that out, and then I'll take apart these pieces and quickly wash them in the sink with some Dawn.
Okay, I have one helper here. What are you gonna help me do? I'm gonna clean. You are? Yeah. Do you like helping mommy clean? Yeah. So I have one helper here, Daddy and Avery. Where'd they go? Um, a baseball. Softball. Softball. Avery and Daddy starts fall softball tonight, huh? Yeah. Fall league. Daddy is Avery's coach. I have Addison and Emery around here. She's in Avery's room. So they're gonna be my little helpers tonight. We don't have a ton we need to do. Um, are you ready, girly? Yeah. So let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, really quickly, I did not show this from the other night, but this is that pad that Addison had on her bed because she had thrown up and that was full of blood. Look out, it all came out. And the nightgown that she had, that DIY stain removal, I am telling you guys, it is the best. So you know with babies, I'll tell you here, as I go in to get her um, nightgown so I can show you. You know with babies, if you save clothing from one baby to another, after a couple of years, you put it in like a tote bag or something, you bring it out and it almost has like brown stains on it. And I don't know what it's from. I'm sure there's some like embedded stains in there. And then when it sits for a couple years, whatever. That's how I came across this DIY stain removal. Someone had suggested it for baby clothes when you pull it out and I tried it and it worked great. So pretty much any stain we have now, that's what we use. And I honestly, I keep like a shout around just for like super quick, easy spray stain removals, but I almost never use it. I always use that combination. It's so great, blood, pretty much just gets everything out so you definitely need to try that but I think if I remember correctly I'll go back in the editing and check but I think this was the nightgown that looked like someone had gotten seriously injured and I'll show you what it looks like so here literally no traces like this is how good the stain removal is like zero traces of blood and same thing on that pad over there so it is so great, natural, inexpensive. You honestly can't go wrong. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for show. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone. Monkeys. Yeah. Who's going to bed? I'm a monkey. You're a monkey? Yeah. Are you a monkey? Yes, yeah, you. You can in a minute, okay? Nothing can break me. 
Good night, girls. Love you. Love you. Love you. Emery. Love you. Sleep good. Car, I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive. And also, to be completely transparent and real with you guys, yes, you're seeing me clean with the twins. Um, they were playing Barbies, but that's enticing because they're avery's barbies you know it's always better you know your sister's barbies are always better than your barbies and then when they were done with that they were watching sophia the first on my bed and when i first started out cleaning the bathroom and in our room you probably notice it was still light out it still stays light a little bit after nine o'clock here so it was still a little bit light out but then when i finish up the bathroom you'll see that it was a lot darker because you know i had to go in um it always looks like they're playing nicely, but if you're a mom, you're a parent to multiple kids, I think you know what I'm trying to say. It doesn't always go that smooth. They're siblings, you know, they bicker, they argue, and I feel like, especially right now, they're, I'm just, I feel like I'm constantly breaking up fights. So um, I started out earlier, and then there was a lot of bickering going on. I had to break it up, and then... We put them to bed and things like that and it just doesn't oh like the night just doesn't always go super smooth or the way you want it but just wanted to throw that out there because i know that's not something that you see when you're watching this video All right, so obviously not a full bathroom clean, but just having the vanity wiped down and the floors clean makes me feel better about the bathroom. Um, the toilet was clean the other day, so like the main bathroom test that I always try to do, even when I don't feel like cleaning the bathroom. I just feel better when the vanity is wiped down and the floors are clean in my bathroom. He started up a band in my garage. We thought our dream would take us so far But after a week or so it all just fell apart But we were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Right now, way back when We didn't care what they said End of the night, but laundry has to be folded. Mike's working late, so I figured usually we'll sit down and fold laundry together, or if I'm too tired, I'll just go to bed, or I'll be editing. Um, but he had some unexpected things come up for work, so I'm solo tonight. <laughs> what they said. People could stare. I didn't give a damn, cause all I needed was my friend way back.
that is it. I'm gonna reward myself with some Oreos. Typically, I'm a golden Oreo girl. Thinking about getting a little crazy and doing the regular Oreos, like the chocolate ones. I'm gonna reward myself with some cookies and relax. Probably watching, let's see, what do I gotta watch tonight? Mm. Oh, I'm gonna start the third season, I think, of Virgin River. I think it's the third season. If you haven't watched Virgin River, it's really good. First season was really, really good. Second season was eh. It was good to keep going, but I didn't love it. And I've heard the third one or the latest season, whatever is out, is really, really good. So kind of excited. I don't have a lot of time. It's late, um, but I'm not going to work out in the morning. So I will sleep in until the girls get up. But I am done. I hope you guys enjoy this a nighttime clean with me. You guys are amazing. I'm so grateful and thankful that you're here and you're a part of this wonderful community. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.